YouTube, I'm Brett Epster, and today I'm going to be doing my 11th tutorial, and that's going to be on the UI Image Picker Controller. Now, the UI Image Picker Controller is, it's pretty much, you can take pictures from your app, or choose existing pictures from the Photos app that you've taken before. And once you have these pictures, you can do pretty much whatever you want, but today I'm just going to do the basic things, and then sometime, I think, later this week, or in the future, I'm going to update it. And I have a little bit, you know, more advanced checks, you know, if it has a uh, camera, if the device has a camera, it'll do this, and if it doesn't, it'll do that. But today I'm just doing some basic stuff, and I'm going to show you the most efficient way to do this, because I haven't found a good way to do this yet on the internet. So, I'm starting out by doing a single view application. I'll name it Camera Photo Library. All right, now let me disable something. One second. All right, fantastic. Now we're going to make brackets, and then you can implement these two delegates, UI Image Picker Controller Delegate and UI Navigation Controller Delegate. And once you have that done, just copy in these three outlets so one is an IB outlet for a UI segmented control, which I named SC. Another one is an IB outlet for UI image view, which I named image view. And another one is an IVAR of the UI image picker controller, which I'm going to use, and I named it Picker 2. I like IVARs better for this. I don't know why. It's just like I just find it easier. So I'm leaving it like that. Then next, um, declare your action here. And this is the action that will fire when the segmented control is clicked on each segment, or like depending on which one is clicked, it'll do a specific action. So, once you've entered in, once you have declared your action, the dot .h, go to the dot .m, and copy it in, I will read it off to you. So once, after the bracket, do picker2, space, equals space, start bracket, start bracket, UI image, picker, controller, space, alloc, end bracket, space, init, end bracket, semicolon, next line, picker2, dot delegate, space, equals space, cell, semicolon, Next line, or two lines down, if space start parentheses sc dot selected segment index space equals equals space zero and parentheses space start bracket next line picker um, start bracket picker two set source type colon UI image picker controller source type camera and bracket semicolon um, close bracket next line else if space start parentheses sc dot selected segment index space equals equals space one and parentheses space start bracket next line start bracket picker two space set source type colon UI image picker controller source type photo library and bracket semicolon next line and bracket next line start bracket self space present mode view controller colon picker two space animated colon yes and bracket semicolon next line start bracket picker two space release and bracket semicolon and then bracket to end the action. So I'll explain what this code does here. So right here we're allocating the UI image picker controller to get ready, you know, present it and stuff. And then here we're sending the delegate to the self, which is um, it's going to call these methods, which I'm going to copy in right now, and I will read off what I'm doing in that in a little while. And after that, if the first segment is selected in the UI segmented control, then it will do it will launch um, the camera. Like when you open up the UI image picker controller, it will show the camera, and you can take a picture. If it's the other one, using an if um, using an else if statement, it will. Um, if 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 the second segment is clicked, which is in this case one, since UI segmenting control is zero index, if it's one, it'll show the photo library where you can choose a picture, and then you know it'll go and do whatever you want. So actually, this is a really efficient code if you're using UI segmented control because I find that a lot of people are using two if statements and that's not the right way to do it. You want to do an else statement or an else if because if one gets called, the next one does not get called, which is you know makes it actually faster in a way. So then after these if and else if statements here, we're presenting the modal view animated, so it's going to slide up from the bottom, and then we're releasing it for good memory management. So here we have two delegate methods, a did finish picking media with info, and an image picker did cancel. Now the did cancel, you're not doing anything except dismissing it and, you know, sliding it from the screen down to the bottom where you can't see it anymore. And then the did finish picking media with info, that's when you've uh, either chosen a photo, from if you're in the photo library, 
or if you're taking a picture and you click the use button you'll see it there it'll say retake or use so once that use button is clicked it'll launch this method and if it's canceled it'll launch this method now the cancel you don't have to do anything um, just leave that alone unless you really need to do an action in there otherwise in this one you're going to do two lines actually not three lines and I'm going to read it off UI image space asterisk image space equals space start bracket info space object for key colon UI image picker controller original image and bracket semicolon next line start bracket image view space set image colon image and bracket semicolon next line start bracket self space dismiss mode of view controller animated colon yes and bracket semicolon now you could have it either animated yes or no but honestly I find that it looks better if you animate it and a lot of people will do that most of the time so now I'm just gonna make a little UI here I'm gonna make a segmented control and an image view make it a little bit bigger I'll make it longer vertically to make it the picture look better in the end All right, so go to Files Owner, drag the image view to the image view, drag SC to the segmented control, and in fact, this part is very important. Oh, wait, no, not this part, right here. When you see the received actions and the IB action camera, when you drag this to the segmented control, you're going to see all these options here. Now, everyone would think, oh, how do you connect it? Well, touch up inside, incorrect. That's not the right way to do it. You have to do it on value changed, otherwise, it is not going to work. So click value changed and that's it for that. So now that the UI is made, we can build it, make sure everything's all good. Now I'm actually going to add one line to the um, our view controller.m, which will be this. Hold on. I'm going to do sc.selected segment index is equal to minus one. And pretty much what that'll do is make none of the segments selected when the view first loads and if I got, didn't use that line it would make the first segment selected and it's just no good so yeah I'm gonna build it now run the simulator alright so you'll see when I click the second button here Actually, wait, I forgot something. Just to make it easier for you guys, I'll name it Camera and Photo Library. And now I will run it. Shouldn't take as long, so now then it's already open. Alright, so now when you see I click Photo Library, I already have one image there from Yahoo News, I think, from yesterday. And when this is clicked, or as soon as I click the mouse right here, it's going to launch the delegate method right here. And it's going to set the image, um, that this image right here, to the image view that I made. See? It's a little bit like, you know, blurred or whatever because the image is uh, more horizontal than vertical. So it's cropped in a way. But, um, yeah. And then, anyway, if you click on the camera button here, it will throw up a Sigabart in Xcode. Because the simulator does not have a camera. And the eyesight will not, you know, serve as the camera. A lot of people think it will. Um, but it doesn't. There might be some plugins or whatever, you know, to make the eyesight work for the camera. But with the, the uh, original iOS SDK and Xcode SDK, that's not the case. So as you'll see, I'll click camera. You'll see there's a Sigabart, and then there's a crash log here. All right. So that was my little simple tutorial on the UI image picker controller. I find this is the most efficient code on the internet right now. And if you actually think about it, if you're not using a segmented control, I think it is five lines of code. You have one, two, then you have a set source types, that's three, then four, then five. That's five lines of code. Now that people have all these like different, you know, sizings and size of the camera and stuff, that's not right. This this is the simplest way to do it. So if you're looking to take a picture within your app or if you're choosing a photo, this is the way to go. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to have the, the source code on Mega Upload like uh, again, and I'm going to put the source code link in the description. So look forward to my future UI image picker controller tutorial, which I'm going to explain more about, you know, more advanced checks, and if the device is a camera, do this, and then if it doesn't, do that, you know. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. You know, if you like my channel, 
you know, recommend it to your friends. I already have 81 subscribers, I think. I'm only 19 away from having 100, and that'll be a big milestone on my channel. And I'm going to have a few more tutorials coming up this week, and I uh, look forward to them. So, thanks for watching.